of Second Vermont brought to you by Seven Days. My name's Ava Solberger, and it is a very windy day here in Bennington, Vermont. There are cannons going off in the background. We're at the Bennington Monument, which is 309 feet tall, meaning it's the tallest structure in Vermont. I hear it's taller than the Statue of Liberty. We are also celebrating Bennington Battle Day, which officially was August the 16th, and it's a day that all the state offices shut down in Vermont. We celebrate it, and yet oddly enough, the Bennington Battle did not take place in Bennington. In fact, it didn't even take place in Vermont took place in New York. And today, at the monument, we are celebrating Bennington Battle Day. We have history reenactments and some people telling us why history is so important. Let's go find out why. Why did this nation become what we are today? It's because of what we did then. And every child should be able to experience living history. Sawyers of the truth. Well, the Bennington battle was important because uh, General Burgoyne needed the stores that were here. The battle actually wasn't fought in Bennington. It was more of the battle for Bennington. So it boosted our morale. A lot of kids today don't think there's any American history beyond the Civil War. And they think the Civil War occurred before the Revolutionary War. They have to be taught what it meant to live, to work, to fight. Why did they fight? Lifestyle was uh, mostly uh, agricultural. Most people were farmers. There was a lot of superstition during this time period. Mystery and confusion. Medical treatment was real strange. You really didn't want to go into a hospital. Tell them we don't take baths, and we don't brush our teeth, we don't shampoo, we don't have deodorant. <gasps> you don't? No. <laughs> and we don't wear underwear. No. <laughs> a woman was still a possession. You could not own property. It was a tough time period to live in. But the air was clean. There's the, there's the 25th, we're the 25th, and the general... Major General. Major General? Yes, indeed. What's I portrayed a part of a French officer. A, a captain of Marines named Isaac Craig. A continental engineer. Volunteer militia. Raw recruit. <laughs> I'm basically a grunt. I'm a private. I'm the wife of a junior officer. Of I am an ensign. I'm the I'm the aide for the general. See, all, all my life I've been wanting to be an officer. I'm a powder monkey. I carry I carry I have a cartridge box. In two more years, I'll yeah. be able to carry a gun and shoot with them. Oh, excellent! When you're you have, to, you have to be 16. Well, usually I'm the drummer. Get them to move and keep them in step. Yeah, I am a target. Mm -hmm. I'm one of the first ones to try to pick off. And that's how we keep it alive by young people like this. You know, we're getting too old to march up hills. <laughs> Why? Well, we're reenactors and we like to keep history alive. I've been doing it for 20. Three years, about 12 years, or 18 years, 38 years. Whole families take part. My son met his wife through the hobby, and my daughter met her first husband through the hobby. My parents actually met in reenacting. If it wasn't for reenacting, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you. Our grandchildren have really been born into it. Yeah, our son has been doing it since he was six months old. And she said, "Oh my lord, is that a real baby?" She said, "No, it's a reproduction." <laughs> They have to take an oath when they marry into the clan. <laughs> my wife started coming down, then my granddaughter, and like I said, it's generational. Where they are your family more so than your real family is. The bigger the event, the bigger the family. I'm marching in the rain. They're waiting in the wings to render things the same. of my pride My mouth is in a war It's a musket. Sometimes it fires. <laughs> if it was damp and rainy, probably not. Uh, it was a 69 caliber uh, British boarding pistol, and it was made for just slight slashing and sticking. Would have that cannon out there is a six pound gun. It would have six pounds of these. I just want to make sure that the men who die don't die in vain. This war we're in is a senseless war, but we've got to fight it in order to get our freedom. And for the first time in the history of the world, a popular revolution 
By a population against a mother country is successful. It's our heritage. You know, that's who we are. Don't walk, run to a library. Thanks for coming back in time with us here at the Bennington Monument, and we'll get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. It's very hard to um, go to the bathroom. <laughs> All the, all, all, the, all the buttons and the coats and, 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 and the sword, it's very hard, but other than, other than that, they're, they're very comfortable. Because, um, well, well the, well, the, well, the socks are an, ex, are an exception. <laughs> yeah. yeah.